Hello friends, welcome to Mary and Molly's show. Well, I'm so glad you've tuned in to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't done that yet. Today we'll be sharing an amazing true story about Betty and the milk bottles. Betty was not quite five years old when this happened to her. She was living with her mama in an upstairs apartment in Kalamozo, Michigan. The milkman had just arrived, leaving two quart milk bottles at the bottom of their brick stairway. May I run down and get those, bring in that milk bottle, said Betty, eager to help her mama. No, darling, said mama. You might drop one of the bottles and that would be just too bad. I wouldn't drop one, pleaded Betty. I'm a big girl now. Those stairs are steep, said Mama. You could easily fall down them, and then what would happen to the bottles? I wouldn't fall down, said Betty. I've climbed those stairs lots of times. But not with slippery bottles in your hands, said Mama. Oh, please, Mommy, coxed Betty. I only want to help you. I know, darling, said Mama, but certainly it wouldn't be helping if you were to fall down and cut yourself. Please, Mommy. No, said Mama, firmly and finally. You run along and play with your dollhouse. But Betty didn't want to play with her dollhouse. She wanted to bring in those milk bottles. So she stood at the window and wondered how she could do that. By and by, Mama went to the kitchen to start the washing. Soon she was busy scrubbing and rinsing and doing all the other things that happen on wash day. This is my chance, Betty said to herself. Now I can bring in the milk. So she walked down the stairway to where the milkman had just left the two bottles of milk. As she walked up slowly to the top, step by step, those bottles seemed to get heavier and heavier and more and more slippery. All went well, however, until she almost got to the top step. Then one of the bottles slipped and fell. It hit the bricks with a sickening crash and the milk started to cascade like a waterfall down the stairway. Worse still, a piece of glass flew up and struck Betty on the face, making a nasty gush. Betty screamed and dropped the other bottle. Mama came rushing out, and you can just imagine what she thought when she saw what had happened. Rushing Betty indoors, she washed the blood off her face and put a bandage on the cut. Fearful of what else might happen to her because of her disobedience, Betty tried to say she was sorry, but she found it hard to find the right words. I, I only wanted to help you, she sobbed. Help me, exclaimed Mama. Next time you have such a notion, please ask me. Now I have all that glass to pick up stairs to clean, and I don't know what else. The best way to help is to obey. And there's a lot of truth in that, dear friends. Betty told me that that cut she got that morning left a scar on her face that is still there to this day. Every time she looks in the mirror, she sees it. And every time it reminds her of those milk bottles and how she tried to help her mama in the wrong way. Thank you friends for tuning in to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell. And also, today we learned a very valuable lesson. Sometimes it's better to be obedient than to be helpful. Hope you have a wonderful day today. And don't forget to tune in next Sunday for another wonderful true stories.